Fish on. Oh, guys, that's a good one. Oh, my. Another one, dude. This is crazy. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out another video here at Orange 22 Fishing. If you guys are new, my name is Matthew. I make up half of the channel. And my brother, David, who is a little bit older than me, makes up the other half. And I just want to invite you to go down there and click that subscribe button if you enjoy our content. Click that like button and as well turn on notifications so you won't miss a video from us. What I'm trying to do right now is get prepared for tomorrow morning. It is currently February 27th and tomorrow is a very special day here in Delaware. I looked this up just to make sure I was correct because I'd heard this number before, but the rainbow trout is the fifth overall targeted game fish in the world and that is exactly what we're going to be going for tomorrow morning on opening day i have never really targeted or caught a rainbow trout so that's what i'm going to be doing tomorrow morning and before i get out there because we're going to be going at like five in the morning because you can start fishing at 7 a.m so i guarantee you guys there's going to be a bunch of people but as you can see right behind me here the old kayak is going to make another journey out on the water we got some trout bait eggs I've never used anything like this before, guys. You can see their little balls right there. And apparently they're supposed to work super good for trout, so we'll definitely be trying those. And we're gonna be using these little tiny size 10 hooks. But as well, we've got a little spinner right here in a gold color. I know spinners are supposed to work good for trout. And the last little thing we got down here is some Berkeley power bait. I've done so much research about this stuff and everybody says this stuff is like the best you can get, especially in this sparkling orange color. All right, I've got my life jacket on and uh, I've got everything ready to go here on the kayak. Let me check the time. 6.55 guys, so we got five minutes. Oh, my hands are gonna be cold. Alrighty guys, I'm out here on the water. Give a farewell to David. And uh, as you can see, it's about five, six feet deep right here. And I can clearly see all the way to the bottom. So, hopefully we don't spook anything. But I'm gonna go right out here. There's a pretty big drop off. This is way deeper than I thought. We're gonna wait until it turns over to 7 a.m. and then we're gonna be fishing. We're gonna start out with this extra scent power bait right here. There we go, all ready to go. Boom, 7 a.m. right there. Let's start fishing. First cast, here we go. I'm gonna toss that out there just like that. And now we wait. I think I'm gonna try to sit that out there. And then since there's virtually no wind, I'm gonna throw this little spinner on my other rod over this way a little bit. We've already got one on, guys. Fish on. First cast. Oh, it came off. I had one first cast. Legit first cast. And then also, a trout came up and surfaced right here. That was about, what, 30 seconds? Let's go ahead and get some more bait on this hook and try to get another one. Oh guys, I just got a huge hit on that spinner. Wow, that was a really good hit. The limit is six trout that you can take home and eat, so I'm hoping that we can get that. But honestly, anything would be a big bonus today. Fish on, guys. Yes, on the spinner. First ever trout, guys. I cannot believe it. Yes. On the spinner. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let me get them out and show them to you guys. Super slippery little things. But there we go. Rainbow trout. First ever trout. Alright, so I just got my kayak back in. There we go. There's our prize right there. Beautiful rainbow trout. We're going to put him in the cooler right here. We're going to go right back out there where I just was. So give me a second and I'll get right back out there. 
Alrighty guys, I was trying not to go too crazy because there's a bunch of people here. I didn't want them to think that I was absolutely insane. But I am so pumped to get that first trout right there. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I might have found a really good spot out here in the middle where it's all weeds and then there's a little clearing. I think they've been chilling on that clearing right there. So uh, let me get my little spinner back out and hopefully catch another one. We got one on guys, on the power bait. I didn't know if we had one, but we definitely got one. Yes, let's go. Let me try to get my net. Oh guys, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Come here, buddy. Oh my. Gosh, these things are fast. Yes. We got them on the power bait that time, guys. Let's go. Oh my gosh, and he absolutely gobbled that bait. Let me get my pliers. Look at that trout, nice. Second rainbow trout right here. Gonna make our way all the way back to David so we can put this guy in the cooler. But that is two trout that I've caught. I've never caught them before, and today I come out here and catch two, which I know is not the limit, but we're gonna see if we can get another one right here both of the fish I've caught today have been out here in the same location. And one more thing guys while I'm paddling, if you guys have ever gone trout fishing in Delaware, whether it be this pond or one of the creeks, uh, I'd really like to know what you guys' PB is. That would be cool. Uh, so definitely go comment down below if you've ever caught a trout and let me know what the biggest one you've ever caught is. 12 seconds later. Got one guys. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Oh, that was a big one. There we go, guys. We're on. I knew there was one on there. I could feel him tugging on it. This is the same spot I caught the other two. There we go. I'm pretty sure I found a good spot and I've got the right bait right in front of their eyes. So. I might be making a couple more trips back to the car, but I think I'm gonna have to be done pretty soon because I'm getting pretty hungry and I'm still very cold, but let's try to get at least one more. But this has just turned out to be a good day. Definitely fun catching something other than bass and pickerel, which I always love catching, but I mean, first time ever catching this species. Got one on, guys. Oh, guys, this is a good one. This is the best one all day. This is a big one. He's running straight towards me. This is a big one. It's a nice one. Yes. There we go. Not as big as I thought, but uh, still a good one. Number four. All righty. Another beautiful rainbow trout right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome fish. These are some strong fish, guys. Even though it's probably only about 13 inches, these things are strong. So we've gotten four trout today, which is definitely enough for me to be content. The first one was, but uh, all the rest were a bonus. And I'm gonna give it a half hour and whatever we get in that time period, or whatever comes first, a half hour or six trout, because that's the limit you can take out of here. So if I catch six, then I'm going to call it quits. And if I run out of a half hour, either way, I'm going to be done in a little bit, because, man, I'm just frozen out here.
what I've been doing guys is just sitting my rod in this little rod holder and then staring up at the tip and keeping tension on that line and uh, I normally can see really well when they bite it one just picked it up guys got him There we go. Another one, dude. This is crazy. Yes. So much fun, I'm telling you. Get in the boat. Yes, sir. Another beautiful rainbow trout. We're going to go ahead and put them in the net. This is my little system, guys. I put them in the net, put the net over my foot like that so you can't get away. And then I'm paddling back over to David once again. It's a good thing we're keeping them because these probably all would have died if not because how they just eat it so much. So I think I'm going to call it a day with five trout in the cooler. But what we're going to do now, I'm going to go home and try to clean these fish and then we're going to cook them up and see how they are. So give me a little bit to get home guys. I'll give you one last look at the live trout in the cooler. And then we're going to get home and cook them up. So stay tuned. This is probably about the biggest one right here. Really nice rainbow trout. So we're gonna take these guys home, clean them up, and then we'll be cooking. Alrighty guys, so we're back at the house now cleaning these fish, and you guys are not gonna believe this, but I just pulled out the guts, and look what was inside this trout. Somebody's rubber worm. I don't know how that got in there, if it ate it off the bottom or something, but uh, we're gonna finish cleaning these trout, and then we'll get on to the cooking. All right, so we've got our fish right here. It's all been cleaned already. I got it all opened up here so you can see inside. And I'm gonna have David hold the camera so I can show you guys what I'm gonna be putting inside this fish. Alrighty, so here we go. The first thing, we got a little spoonful of butter that we're just gonna start rubbing around inside here. Give it some nice flavor. Alrighty, so I'm just spreading around this butter, trying to get it all marinated in there. Then we're gonna take two little lemon pieces and we're going to try to squeeze the juice out and then stick those inside. Just like that. And we got some little chopped onion here. We're just going to throw that in there. Pretty simple. And then the last right here, we got some salt and pepper. So give me one second to clean my hands and we're going to put that on. Alright, so we're just going to open this thing up again. Put a little pepper in there, all the way from the front of the fish to the back, and then we're just gonna sprinkle some on top to really bring out that flavor. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing with this salt. There we go. And now she's ready to go in the oven. So we're just gonna take this tin foil, wrap them up nice and tight. Close them up, and we're gonna put them in for 20 minutes. Into the oven she goes. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit, and then we'll have a taste. So I just got the fish out of the oven right here. I just pulled it off the bones. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this fork and get a piece and see how it tastes. It's actually pretty good. I haven't had some rainbow trout ever, so it really actually does taste like flounder. I've had flounder before, and it's a little bit different, but it really does taste like flounder. It's very good. I think it could use a little more salt and pepper, but really good, especially knowing that I caught it out of Delaware. I mean, it's something that we don't get to do here. But guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this episode. It took a lot of work and a lot of dedication, but we came through, caught five rainbow trout, so it would really mean a lot if you went down there, clicked that like button, as well as subscribe to our channel. And definitely drop a comment, like I said earlier in the video. Have you guys ever caught a rainbow trout? I'd really be interested to know that. So thanks again, one more time for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.